In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your HTX wallet address. If you're planning to send crypto to HTX, then you will need your wallet address and it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and to network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address and if in doubt, send a tiny amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will also vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds. So you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So if you want to know how to find your wallet address on HTX, you will need to log in, then hover over the assets menu in the top right. Then you want to click my assets, making sure you actually click on the word my assets and not the number below, because otherwise it won't take you to the page. Then you want to select deposit. From here on the left, you want to pick the token you want to deposit. You can scroll down the list or type into the search box. I'm going to pick USDT. Some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks. For example, with USDT, there are a number of networks which you can see on the right of, and it's important to check which network you are sending your crypto on. If you select the wrong network, then you risk losing your funds. So I'm going to pick the TRC20 network. If it's your first time, then you will need to press on the send deposit address button at the bottom here. But as I've done this before, I can already see my address. So once you've done that, you should now see your wallet address for this specific crypto and network. If you change networks, for example, if I change to the ERC20 network, you will see a different QR code and address. To copy your address, you can press the copy address button below the wallet. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code above this with a mobile device. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.